let's get a little philosophical today and talk about time. Well, isn't it one of the most important things of our lives, right? Yes. So you may be now wondering as to why me, being a chemical engineer, suddenly is so concerned about time. It is because I study reactions, very fast reactions. And these reactions can occur so fast, and in order to understand the mechanistic details of this reaction, we have to be able to generate time-dependent data set. So the reaction that I'm going to talk about today happens in our everyday life. But even before that, can I get a few hands if you took a car, train, or even drove a car, a truck? Thank you. So yes. So it's people like you, me, who are contributing to this reaction. It's actually when we drive a car, we generate this compound called NOx, or nitric oxide, which is harmful. And if we inhale it in an appropriate amount, it can be detrimental. So car companies long back have introduced this catalytic converter into our cars. But the question that remained unanswered till date is how are this conversion happening? What is happening while Knox is trying to be something useful, something better? So to answer this question, our group has developed this instrument where we can track any surface at a very high time resolution. And the time I'm talking about is 66 milliseconds. Now let us imagine Knox to be this couple who comes into a party and, you know, for that fraction of time, what we thought is it would come and just sit and probably leave the party. But what we found out is it not only sits, it does a little bit of dance. And in that process, you know, it loses its counterpart and take up different partners. And as it leaves the room, you can see it's completely changed now. So, for the first time ever, we were able to separate the NOx sitting on the catalyst, that is absorption, and the NOx dancing, that is reaction, and in that fraction of time. And this whole thing is important because it is because of this time frame we were able to extract so much of information that can help, probably not uh, like in the near future, but in the far future, to improve our catalytic converters, to increase its efficiency, and maybe sometime in the future can get uh, the prices of our cars down. So that's what I do, and that's my research. So while you drive back home today, maybe you can think about my knocks dancing in your cars. Thank you. Thank you.